Hello. In this Getting Started tutorial, I want to talk about the envelope generator on the AE Modular. This envelope generator has a few tricks up its sleeves and it is a dual envelope generator, so you have two in one very tiny module. Before I get started, let's just listen to this little patch that I made by using both of these envelopes. So that was a little tune that I patched with this tiny modular synth and uh, the Arturia key step. So um, next I will remove all the patch cables and I will get into explaining what the individual controls and the ins and outs of the envelope are. The envelope generator has two modules that act the same way. So you have on the input side you have a gate that is triggering the first envelope, a CV control for the attack rate and a, a CV control for the decay rate. And then you have a gate for the second envelope and again a CV for the attack and a CV for the decay rate, which means that you can modulate them with, for instance, an LFO. You also have a, a gate from the bus and a, uh, two of them, which means that if you attach a MIDI signal like I have here, this is connected to the Arturia keyboard. When I press a key, the gate lights up and then this gate would be picking up here and it would trigger those envelopes if you patch it that way. On the output side, you have three outputs for the first envelope, a one output for the end stage, uh, which is really nice. So you can actually send a trigger when this envelope is done then it sends a trigger out from this output. You have the same way for the um, second envelope, three outs and an end. In terms of controls, you have uh, these potentiometers to dial in the attack and decay rate. And I will just show you on a little diagram what this means. You also have those switches. This switch triggers uh, changes between a trigger and a gate behavior. And I will show you sonically what the differences are between the two. And then you have another um, switch uh, turning this envelope either into fast or slow mode, which again means how fast it is, is it rising and falling. Each of those envelopes also has a very nice trigger that you can just tap to start this envelope if you don't have a gate. This is really cool to test things out or even if you have a voice that you only want to trigger uh, manually and at certain stages, then you can just attach it to this envelope and then just trigger it with this little button here. Let's see our first patch to see what the attack and decay even means. In this patch, I have a very simple voice set up. So the first oscillator is getting a CV sig signal into the CV in, which means that I'm controlling the frequency for my keyboard. The sawtooth wave out goes into a VCA and from the VCA straight into my audio, in this case the headphone amplifier, which then takes to the mixer and, and to the iPhone for recording this video. 
The VCA turns on and off, controlled by the first envelope stage here. You can see here I have the output from the envelope into the CV1 on the VCA. And I'm, I'm triggering this envelope by taking the bus gate signal directly from here into the gate 1. Having those bus gates on all those modules where you really need them is an awesome feature of the A modular system. Normally, in other UREC, for instance, you would have to have a patch cable that is longing, that is going from here to the master module and, and so on. So you would have long cables going back and forth and potentially multiples and so on. But on A modular you have where you need it, you can pick up the MIDI signals directly on the module itself. So when I hit a key on my key step, then this envelope would trigger and would open up the VCA to let through the sound. So what we can see is that this LED is flashing, but the sound is very short and very silent. And this is because the attack and decay are both basically on the lowest setting. And in terms of what happens is that if you want to hear sound, you have to let open up the VCA a little bit. So you have to give it a little bit of time to let through sound. So I'll just change the decay. By just turning it up a bit. You see here that the setting is on slow, so I can actually make a very slow decay. So turning it up to 12 o'clock should be a quite a long decay. Um, with just one key press. If I turn it too fast, however, and I have the same setting, it melts much quicker. So the decay is just basically a, a slowly decreasing in, in voltage, and the attack is a slow increase in voltage. So if I turn this up, let's just turn the decay all the way down and turn the attack up instead. So you see it sounds backwards because it actually starts ramping up and then it falls completely because the decay is on zero. Usually you would want to um, have a little bit of both. So um, basically that means that you can model, you know, more explosive instruments by doing the attack, uh, having the attack on zero, which gives you a plucking noise, and something like a violin, which is uh, not a percussive instrument. You would raise the attack. Now, What's the dif difference between the gate and the trigger switch? So you can see here, if I make them both a little bit shorter, even though I press and hold down, the envelope rises and falls, always at the same, at the same rate. If I switch this to gate, 
what will happen is it will treat um, the input signal as a gate which means that it is open for as long as I have my finger pressed down. Let's listen to this. So only after I release the key will the decay trigger. Let's try this out. So let's have a very short attack and a very long decay. And when I release my finger, the decay starts to, uh, well, decay. And this is the difference between the gate and the trigger, um, which means that if you... In your playing, you can play uh, interweaving notes, or if you give it a little bit more pause in between, it works just like with a trigger. Another really awesome thing about this envelope generator is the end out. This little thing here. So in this little synth, for instance, at the super booth, I asked people that came up and I looked at the synth, I asked them, so how many oscillators does this have? And you know, an oscillator, usually you look at this and you go like, oh, two, right? Well, actually it has a bit more because the LFO can turn into audio range, and I will show you that in another video maybe. But also the envelope generators, when you trigger them, by themselves, they can actually be turned into oscillators. And I'll just patch that up for you and show you how that looks like. So in this little patch, I have patched the envelope generator to be self-oscillating. So the end signal from the envelope one goes and triggers itself on gate one. The output of the envelope goes into my VCA because it is now an oscillator. And I'm just using the second envelope to open the VCA. Uh, so I'm just using the out of the second to just open the signal so I can play it on my keyboard. And I'm not just using the gate out to trigger the second envelope so it opens the VCA to let through the sound of the first oscillator. And this is how it sounds like. Now you can change the pitch of that sound by changing the attack or the decay. Let's move the decay a little bit. So you see when I increase the decay, obviously the period of the wave changes and gets wider so the tone is lower. So now we're getting into LFO territory. If I move this even further, we won't be able to hear anything because it is just now too slow. I can achieve the same thing by changing the attack. This is really nice. So now I have two oscillators, three, four oscillators on this uh, little synth. But of course, those are very hard to control with pitch. Um, sure, you can change the attack and the decay with the voltage, but you know, it's, it's not very precise. Okay, in this patch, I've used uh, two of the oscillators and two of the envelopes in self-looping mode to create a drone. There's a lot going on here, and you can see already that even on this tiny mini synth, you can do very complex patches to achieve all kinds of different sounds. So both of these envelopes are so patched that they start each uh, themselves, so they are self-moving, um, so they are basically acting as oscillators. 
and they are going into the mixer and to the B section. And this 4x4 mixer is actually a two-stage mixer. The B section is everything you put into the B channels is mixed together in the B output without the chance of attenuation. And the A section, you can choose the attenuation of each channel, which then goes to the output A. So the two envelopes are being mixed up in the B section, going into the SV filter, and from there into channel 3 in the A section of the, fil of the mixer. The two oscillators here are going into a VCA, and the VCA is controlled by this LFO, and then going into the um, A section of the mixer. I'm putting the whole lot through the delay to get more room and more space. So that was my introduction to the envelope module on the AE modular. I showed you how you use all the inputs, outputs, the controls, and how to use it in a few different patches. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment in the comment section. And if you want me to do a tutorial video about a special module that you would like to know more about, just let me know. 
Thanks for watching.